Hello and welcome. When the Supreme Court ruled in favor of PDP in Bielsa State, I knew that the verdict of the Bielsa governorship election was an exchange to a higher objective. And the actual objective was the Imo State governorship election. I, for one, will not want APC in whatever guise to be in any region whatsoever in the entire Southeast region. Once again, as usual, I would like to iterate that or reiterate that Southeast is the entire 11 South South and Southeast states as described by the Caliphate. Now, what is even more painful about the events that are unfolding is the fact that the caliphate can even sit somewhere and manipulate us like pawns in a chess game. To the psyche of an average southerner, you can be whatever you want to be only by the ratification of the caliphate. Somebody like Omar Gege, the deputy senate president, showed by his body language to be thankful that he is what he is only because the caliphate said so. Omar Gege is my brother. I'm happy he's my brother. But the mentality that a brother of mine could only be happy because he feels he can only be what he is because the caliphate made it possible to be what he is is what is annoying me. That is a very retro, is a very stupid and mind-boggling retrogressive mentality that is so annoying that most southerners carry. It's a very dangerous time that we are now. And I, I seem to see that every single game plan of the caliphate is gaining ground and is succeeding by the number. The only people that are making it possible for the caliphate to succeed by the steps of evil manif um, machination that they are carrying out, it's we ourselves, the southerners. We have now developed the strength to find the opportunity to fight ourselves. I was watching the Supreme Court proceedings. What really pained me, of course I knew it was going to end like this. There is no way that PDP will win by Elsa and PDP will win uh, Imo State. I was watching the proceedings. But what really pained me is not the fact that I knew what the whole game plan was about. What really pained me was that you could actually see Ebos who are the primary target of the caliphate to subdue, sharing themselves into two groups. Those who are waiting that the Supreme Court rules in favor of APC and those who are waiting that the Supreme Court rules in favor of PDP. Can you see how dumb and stupid we are? Because take it or leave it. Like I said, and I will always say, APC is a vehicle for the Islamization agenda of the Caliphate over Nigeria over the 
domination of Nigeria. It's a pity that most of us Southerners still see APC as a place that you should belong. Like I said in other video, like Arsenal or Manchester United. Ah, I'm, an, I'm, a, I'm a Manchester fan. I'm, I'm a Manchester United fan. Or I'm a, I'm a, an Arsenal fan. It, it's a little bit, it's, a, it's crazy. It, it's, it's really, really crazy. Now that APC has been reaffirmed to be in Emo State, let me tell you what the stakes are. I want you to see APC in Emo State as a strong arm of the Islamization agenda. Clawed, when I mean claw, okay, taloned or clawed, firmly gripped in the very essence of the Southeast. Now, even before the Supreme Court ruling, the stooge you have there as the governor is already declaring an emir, 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 emir in Imo state. Because I am not an Igbo man, but Igbos are my brother. Because I know very well that Islam and Igbo has no correlation. Emir or Emirate and the Igbo culture has no correlation. So where and why are we hearing the word Emir in Igbo state? It's simple. You don't need a Tusaya to tell you what this is all about. Or you don't need... Uh, you don't need to go into a course to study what this is all about. It's simple. It is a step into subduing the culture and the people of the Igbo race to bow down to the supremacy of Islam and the Fulani Caliphate. Period. Now I'm going to make another video. And that video is going to tell us steps on how to free ourselves from this hydra-headed, spider-like web that has enclaved us into this rather intriguing complicacy of the Islamic agenda on us. It's a pity. Sometimes I have my head clouded with so much things so many things to talk about the web of this uh, conspiracy on us. But like I said, and I will say again, the only people that is elongating this mischief on us are we ourselves. Because rather than take our mind off the pettiness of quarreling ab amongst ourselves. Like saying who is senior, who is younger, who is, uh, who is to blame or who is not to blame. We take our eyes off the danger that is among us. Who, would in a right, who, who will in his right mind believe that a full animal man can come into the south walk into your farm and even threaten the owner of the farm and say he wants to do what he wants to do but it is right here with us so in conclusion to this video i would rather beg us that we take our mind off this pettiness that we seem to enjoy in fighting ourselves and concentrate on the bigger picture of the danger that is befalling all of us. So if today you are an Igbo man or you are an Robo man, a Shekri man, a German, this is not the time to be peddling ethnic uh, agenda. This is a time to find a way to harness every single ethnic nation in that region to come together and fight this common enemy. I said it before and I'm saying it again and I'm saying it again. The day the caliphate wakes up and he begins to see something very remote to an idea 
that the obnoxious description of South, South and South East has been jettisoned by these people and they are, they are, they are, they are embracing a real description. Now, this is something that I want to bring in the other video, but let me quickly bring an intro here. The mere word Southeast and South-South is the very bane of our problem there. The Igbo man believes Southeast is Igbo. The South-South believes Southeast is Igbo. So he asks a man from the South-South to say, no, you are your south is it's like in his mind it's like you are telling that no he should jettison his identity and accept Igbo identity to my south south brothers to my urubu brothers ishekiri isoko edo this is a very wrong notion and it is the ingenious strategy that the caliphate has used to split us apart you are not south south it took me the grace to realize this. You are not South South. We are South East. I made a video concerning this uh, uh, compass identity. There's no such thing as South South or Middle Belt. We have North East, North West, South West, South East. We are South Easterners. The day we all begin to realize, the day the Igbo man begins to realize that Southeast is bigger than the Igbo race. Southeast is an enclave that contains multiplicity of tribes. The day the, day the, 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 the other riverine area begin to realize that South-South description is an ingenious plan by the caliphate to make themselves see themselves different or sorry what was i saying the the day the south the river Rhine people begin to see that the south south description is an ingenious plan of the caliphate to make themselves see themselves different from the Igbos and thereby imputing or planting that divisive psychology amongst these different tribes or perhaps make the other tribes see Igbos as their enemies where indeed accepting them as our own only confirms our strength because one of the strategies that these people use is that they go to a place and find the tribe that is more populous and make the other tribes see them as enemies go to Adama, the Bachama people are the most populous tribe there. But I can tell you in Adama State, they have made it in such a way that every other single minority tribe see the Bachama as their enemy rather than the bigger enemy of the Caliphate. Go to Plateau State. They've made the other tribes see uh, uh, Birom as their, the Birom is the major tribe here in Plateau State. But they made the other tribe seem to concentrate more on fighting the Birom as their enemy rather than the bigger enemy of the caliphate it's the same thing that is happening in the southeast they've made the other tribe see Igbos as their enemy as against the real threat of the caliphate that is hell-bent on collecting your wealth and your lands so i'm not going to say much because I, I i i hate making very long videos so i just want to say what i've said i hope it gets into our mind and the purpose of this video is to shape our mind so that we can be able to look be, look beyond these uh, tribal sentiments or ethnic sentiments so that we can be able to look beyond who is Urubo, beyond who is Igbo, beyond who is Kalaba and begin to see ourselves as one and if you're an Igbo man because if somebody told called me today and said that if you are talking to people and they refuse to answer or they refuse to 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 accept you what do you do the what you should do is keep talking to them over the years you now have somebody like me 
I'm a robo man, full fledged robo man. My mother was a robo, my father was a robo. Full fledged. But here am I talking about people embracing Igbos. So if you keep holding on to the dream, you will get people like me who will spring up, and before you know it, we come together as one. What is encouraging these people to the point that they are now in our land killing us is simply because we see ourselves differently. And they said a divided house cannot grow, but a house in unity builds a fortified barricade from every negative force that wants to come in. I'd like to say thank you for listening. We are one and we are on. In of me horrible. Because me will video on a me ji we gba me wo to ta ko wa ne e kwa ko se ko aina opo ta mama ona dota e ke nene ne eh eh ma robo e ma na ja deta me sat sat e hwe gbona mi ke se wa vo vai eh opo tu o se o se re ore aina o o vre o bra ka because Asa ne upe tu ikwe yao sa mubre ae ole awa ena. Biko me lo wa. Agwa ni jere. Asa di akube. Asa di ovovo. Nisha gwa ya. Yeah.